Hey everybody, this is Dominic with NRL22. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download the NRL22 monthly course of fire and upload it directly into your practice score tablet or whichever device you end up using. First thing you're going to do is go to nrl22.org forward slash download and then you're going to go ahead and click on the course of fire that you're wanting to download. I've already downloaded this course of fire so I'm going to go ahead and click on this hyperlink and make sure that you have a app that allows you to view the course of fire in PDF format to include being able to select any embedded hyperlinks. On the top right, you'll see practice score template. Make sure you select practice score template. That'll take you to our Google Drive. And on this Google Drive, Levi Sanderson has created step-by-step -step instruction and very thorough instructions for iOS, iOS with iCloud and Android instructions. These steps that I'm going over right now are directly for a Android. In the middle of the page, you'll see the practice score match template. You're going to go ahead and click on that blue hyperlink. And then what we're going to do is it's going to select the July 2022 template. You're going to select the three little dots on the right, and then you're going to select download. Now that we've downloaded the course of fire, we're going to go ahead and go directly into our practice score app. Here at the very top, you see that the name of the match is NRL 22 Fort Campbell. Uh, you have two different ways of changing this. You can either A, go into import export, import match, and then search for the template directly from here. Or you can go the easier route and just hit change at the very top and then hit import. You're going to go ahead and select the magnifying glass right there. And you're going to go ahead and search the template by the name convention that we uh, assigned it. In this case, it'll be July 2022. Now the phone's going to search for it. Once it finds it, I'm going to go ahead and select it. I have two of them on here because I already previously downloaded it. Select it. It now automatically puts it uh, at the, it loads it already for you in your device. This next step is very crucial to make sure that your match results don't get overridden on the practice score website. The template itself has a match identification number automatically assigned to it um, from practice score. What you need to do is you need to click on these three dots and you need to select clone match. Here, select whichever name you wanna give this match. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove template um, and then I'm going to go ahead and select a different date for my match. What this does now that I've cloned it and I've changed the name of the match, it will now give me a new practice score identification code specifically for this match. Surely change, just changing the name of the template will not change the identification number. You have to clone the match. So again, I reiterate, when you download the practice score template, into your practice score app, you have to clone the match. 